here is another way of using Krugoin with select many. So let's explain this syntax. So what this will do is you have the following people and the cities they belong to. So you can see Alice here belongs to city one, which is New York. Core belongs to city two, which is Los Angeles. But Charlie belongs to city three, but there is no city three in the second data set. So what do we do is using group join. So we want to loop through the outer list, which is people. So this would be Alice, Ob, and Charlie. And then we want to use the inner loop or inner collection, which is city. So see here, we've got New York and Los Angeles. And we want to use the person.city ID as our outer key. And here, city ID as our inner collection key that links the city ID. So what we want to do is that will give us our outer collection. And it will create a new collection, which we have decided to call city group. And what that will basically do is simply say that person with ID 1 has city of New York. And person with ID 2 has city of Los Angeles. Angeles. So basically very similar to what we have here but in reverse it will be grouped by the person not by the city ID. And then once those groups arrive what we want to do is we want to flatten them using select 20. So that means for example if Alice belonged to two cities then we're able to print them as separate rows. So here what we're doing is we've got this temp variable. This temp variable is basically the city group and the person and here you can see city group is available here. So it has come from there to down here here and in this hemp variable which we have decided to call temp but you can call it anything you want and notice that we're checking if default if empty so this will give a null if we do not get a matching city so if we didn't get a matching city out of this key match then we will simply get a null output here and then we are going to use that so our, the output of this is going to be the city it could be null and then here we're just passing in the temp variable again and then this lambda operation what what we'll do is this is going to be an anonymous object which is basically going to take in a person name and it's going to notice here we are accessing temp.person so this person fell into this temp variable here and is accessible by that and we're going to pull their name and for city now city comes from here and it's generated here we're just checking if it is null then what we want is if it is not null then we want the city name otherwise we want the output to be no city and then we just simply print the results over here so if i run this code so you can see here this is the output that we get which is alice lives in new york and we've got bob who lives in los angeles but notice here charlie has no city hope this helps you understand that group join with select many and when it might be useful